Angus Young, how you doing? Good, Becca. The offspring. How's it going, Becca? Dave Grohl, how you going, mate? Good, man. Pete, it's been a long time coming. Oh, Becca, hasn't it indeed? We go inside the dressing room, speak to the biggest names in music. Keith Richards, the Rolling Stones. And crack open their esky. This is exactly how I imagine you, by the way, sitting opposite me with a vodka and orange. You're a discerning chap. This is the rider. Hey, this is Becca. It is Saturday at the Monday Monday Bash. Still to come tonight, Jimmy Barnes to bring the house down. And Daryl Braithwaite, I've just spotted him backstage. He has entered the green room. So there's lots to look forward to. It's just an incredible festival. So well organized. The merchandise, by the way, is so good. It's already sold out. And uh, they've covered off all bases. I mean, you've got camel rides. You can go up on a chopper. And the scenery is just amazing. So look, if you couldn't make it this time around, um, definitely make it next time because the Monday Monday Bash will be back bigger and better than ever. Casey Chambers is here, ready to go on stage tonight. Uh, it's something amazing about the red, dusty plains. I love it. It feels like home to me. I grew up in the outback, so sitting around in the red dirt, it feels more at home to me than being on grass or on concrete or even on a stage, to be honest. Yeah. What's well, yeah. true, because you're for the Nullarbor. Yeah, I mean. yeah. My, my dad was actually a professional fox hunter, of all things. <laughs> I know, how random is that? Yeah. And, it, like, so I had spent a lot of my childhood um, out in the outback, but... Uh, that's kind of where I learned to sing as well. Like we'd sit yeah. around the campfire, pass the guitar around as a family. And I sort of think of that as my musical education. Yeah. So when I get to do gigs back out back, like out in the real Australia, yeah. they're like my favourite gigs of the year, always. Like every time we play out back, it's always my fave. So. Well, you got the slot because uh, the sun sets this week have been amazing. Oh, and and, and yeah. you'll have a moment where you look out and you'll go, this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, that. That's what, like my my dream spot is to get when the sun when the sun's going down. So, and you know you get to play right before Barnsley. So uh, you know free ticket to see Barnsley doesn't go astray. Hey, <laughs> I would have said yes to the gig anyway. <laughs> Final day, the Monday Monday Bash. Mark Kosowski, how does it feel over the last couple of days? Pretty amazing. Look, it's been unbelievable. We've had incredible weather. Every single band's killed it. Um, the punters are just lapping it up. I mean, it's more than we could have, yeah, dreamt of, yeah, dreamt of. So it's it's amazing. It's kind of cool in the green room where you're seeing all the artists come and go. Like, there's, there's, a, there's a air of legendary when uh, Daryl Braithwaite comes into the room. Yeah, well, it's going to get even more legendary when um, when our publicist rolls in a miniature pony for a photo shoot with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Daryl Braithwaite. We're here at the bar here at the Money Money Bash. What is the ritual pre-gig? I, I see coffee and honey. Is that right? Coffee and honey, because. You, you get a little bit nervous, um, and having just had COVID last week, and I had seven days in Mount Isa oh, in an isolation, yeah. and there's still a bit of roughness there. And I thought, coffee and honey, that'll do it. Yeah. But you can't let yourself get too um, psychologically damaged no. with it, or else it'll just compound. Yeah. But I feel all right. <laughs> yeah, I've come through it too a couple of, well, three weeks ago now, so it's, it's just. You know, you want to shake it, but sometimes it takes a bit longer than you hope, you know. But you feeling all right, though? Yeah, yeah, I feel good. It's sort of, um, this will be a third gig in a row, so it's sort of like, did Melbourne, not last night, night before, Sydney last night, here tonight, so. But the crowd looks great, and it's it's so good to be back on it, you know, in the, well, in the outback. Yeah, well, it's an incredible drive. Like, the people say pilgrimage. It kind of is like a pilgrimage. You, you fly in, you go through the, the, the red, dusty plains, and it's amazing. I think that the people love that. Um, it, it's probably come at the right time where the people have got caravans and yeah. sort of decided to leave home and let's go travelling around Australia. Yeah. So they come here, they go to Birdsville, yeah. other places, and then they go, my God, how big is Australia? And I go, yes, it is. It's unbelievable. Darryl, it's great to see you and I uh, can't wait to see you on stage. Thank you. Looking forward to it. Batesy, I'm here with DJ Grandmaster Bates. You've been the entertainment, the unsung hero of the whole festival so far. How do you feel on the final day? I'm feeling really good. It's almost like it's the first day, you know. <laughs> it's uh, just been an amazing journey, as always, working with all these wonderful musicians and bands. So privileged, so honoured. Great to be here. So uh, highlights. I mean, I mean, Midnight Oil on the first major night was amazing. But um, I mean, it's it's pretty cool to come off the back of a a big set like last night with John Stevens, and you were the one who brought it home. 
It was a lot of fun. A lot of people just want to keep partying. And if there's any ever one person that wants to keep partying, it's the Grandmaster Bates. And uh, yeah, had the opportunity to do it last night. And I'm looking forward to doing it again tonight. We've got Randall here, one of the legendary uh, side of stage blokes who make it all happen. Um, you've been doing a lot of tours, a lot of gigs, yes. a lot of comedy as well. Yes. You were Rodney Rude's co-writer. Yes. That's insane. I mean, those days must have been nuts. Yes. So how does this compare? Yes. It looks chaotic, side of stage. Uh, it, it, is, is it as chaotic as it, as it seems? Yes. Yeah. Randall, it's been great speaking to you. Yes.